Hey what's up guys this is Inex and today I will be showing you the new touch controls that will be added in Minecraft Pocket Edition. So yeah I will be showing you uh, how you can get these options right now in your game. So yeah stick around with the video till the end. Okay so as you guys can see I am in the game right now and I am using the new touch controls over here. You can see I have a new type of movement pad over here and also on the right side of the screen you can see I have four new buttons. As you can see I can jump with one button and also crouch with another button. There are actually two more buttons on the right side of the screen you can see one is a hand button and also a sword button so if you use the hand button you can actually place blocks uh, like you can place uh, torches and also different kinds of blocks and with the sword button you can actually hit uh, like mobs and stuff like that so uh, suppose you wanna you wanna like chop a tree you're gonna have to hold the axe and you're gonna have to tap on the sword button um, okay that was the wrong button uh, yeah the sword button so as you guys can see I can easily chop down the tree with the new um, controls I think this is a really big change uh, from the Minecraft pocket edition the controls were always really tough for uh, the mobile users but now I think this is much more uh, easier for the people to play the game on a touch control device there are actually two more options that you can try so for that you're gonna have to go to settings and then you're gonna have to go to the touch options over here and here you can see we have a new option over here says enable new touch control schemes so what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to turn that on and in the interaction model you can see we have three options over here I was using the crosshair option so now I will show you how things gonna look with the touch option so let's select the touch option and go back to the game here you can see I have only the movement pad and also I have the jump and sneak button but I don't have the action button over here but you can see this is just like we used to do uh, in the previous versions in the game. Up next we have the crosshair option so we will go to the settings again and select the crosshair. Here you can see we have a new option over here says show action buttons this is really important if you if you turn off the action buttons you can see there is no um, like placing block or attacking button so you're gonna have to turn the show action buttons over here and you will get two more options for placing and breaking the block on the third option we have the classic buttons I think you can already guess what it is the old OG buttons that we always used to use you can use these buttons if you really want but I think the new buttons are really cool and yeah one more thing if you're thinking where is the screen button on the left side of the screen you can see the movement pad over here and you can see there is a semi transparent circle and inside that semi transparent circle there is a white circle so if you keep the white circle within the semi transparent circle you can actually like walk here you can see I'm walking and if you pull the white circle out of the semi transparent circle you can actually sprint right over here you can see I'm sprinting and the white circle is out of the semi transparent circle so if you want to have these controls in your game what you're gonna have to do is go to Play Store and search for Minecraft once you have found Minecraft you have to scroll down a bit and here you can see we have the beta testing options for me it says you are a beta tester for you there will be a join option over here tap on the join option and then update the game once your game is updated you're gonna have to go to settings and then on the touch option over here uh, you can find the enable touch control schemes for the first time it will be disabled you're gonna have to enable it and there you go you will have all the touch controls over here okay so that's it for today guys i hope this video was helpful for you and yeah make sure to leave a like and also subscribe and yeah i will see you in the next one till then goodbye